In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract audio inside of Canva. Now, this will work depending on exactly what you're trying to achieve, but you'll be able to get your audio track separate to your video, and I'm going to show you and explain how you can do it. There isn't a perfect solution for this, but I will show you what you need to know and what you came for. So first, go to Canva. So once you're on Canva, you'll probably be on the home page. What we need to do is create a new video. So I'm going to go create a design and then going to go to videos and I'm going to create a video in the 1920 by 1080 format. This is the landscape format. If you're trying to make a portrait video, obviously you would choose the portrait dimensions. Now go to uploads, go to videos and upload your video. Since I already have a video uploaded, we're going to use this one here, which I'm going to drag on. Now this video is just a screen recording of a tutorial. So we can play this and I'll just share with you what the audio sounds like currently. In this video, I'm going to show you, so you can see it's just me talking over a screencast. Now, what would we do if we wanted this audio, but we wanted to change the video on screen and maybe overlay like some of these videos that we've got. So first we would need to split the audio from the actual video. So if you right click, you need to click extract audio. And what that will do is it will make the audio track separate to the video track. Now you could now click on the audio track and delete it and it will delete the audio track. Now you'll notice if you click on the video track and delete it, it will delete the video track, but it will take the page back to five seconds and your audio you can see is longer than five seconds. So I would redrag your page to the length of your video or your audio that's needed. For me, that's about two minutes. So I haven't really got far to drag, but you'll notice now that we've got the audio and there's no video on top, it's just a white background. So I'm gonna drag this all the way until the audio actually stops, which for me is here. So we can drag that down to where it stops, and there we go. So now we've got a couple of options. Now we could drag on any other video clips onto the timeline, and you can see those clips will play for as long as they are, and you can obviously change the length of those clips as well. Now, I'm going to be honest, this isn't 100% foolproof and it is a bit fiddly, and but it does allow you to add other clips essentially to your audio track. So this one's four seconds. We'll go ahead and add this one. Now, when you add a clip, it seems to fill for the duration of your whole audio. If you only wanted a clip for a certain amount of time, let me just say four seconds, you could click on the actual clip and click split, and then you could just delete the rest. You've got to replace the clip with another clip otherwise if you delete it it won't actually let you delete it it will just shorten the audio so you can extract the audio but you can only replace it with other videos now if you've got the white background and let's say you want to just get this audio track out of canva can you do that well you can go to share and you can go ahead and click download but you can only download here's mp4 you can see there is no mp3 audio track so you could click download and you would download the whole audio track it would have like a white background as the video so that might not be what you're looking for but with this newly downloaded mp4 video with only the audio and no actual video on the track you can then re-import this to canva and then add any relevant videos on top of this audio. Like I said, there's no perfect solution. It just depends what you're trying to achieve. Another option, which you might want to consider, once you've got this new MP4 track downloaded, you could go to something like MP4 to MP3, and you could essentially convert that track by clicking select file, and then finding this downloaded MP4 file, and what that will do if you click convert is it will convert it to an mp3 format and only keep the mp3 audio. So that is another workaround. You can obviously use any of these. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was. But you can see now we've just got the mp3 file instead. So that's another option. I hope that helped.